Hello, I am Dr. Anil Mishra, Consultant Cardiologist and Medical Director at Bhim Birla Heart Research Center. Today I am going to talk about percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty or commonly called angioplasty or stenting or PTCA in short. This is a procedure to remove blockages in the coronary arteries. When you have blockages in the coronary arteries, as you can see in this model, the blood flow through the arteries become very sluggish and as a result of that people start getting chest pain on exertion or heaviness or tightness on exertion and this gets relieved by rest within few seconds or few minutes because the amount of blood flowing through the blockage is enough to sustain activity at rest but not at exercise however sometimes these plaques which are causing these blockages as you can see the yellow one which are rich in cholesterol deposits they rupture and if they rupture they cause a formation of a clot there causing almost subtotal occlusion or total occlusion and if this is called acute coronary syndrome unstable angina and if it's a total blockage it leads to a heart attack because the part distant to that is not getting any more blood supply as a result of that that portion of heart muscle necrosis or dies out in the small portion and that is what his heart attack is now before people get a heart attack if we can detect these blockages in time if they are significant we can remove them by doing a coronary angioplasty the process is very simple you it's not a surgery you do not have to undergo a general anesthesia or anything it is done in cath lab by a cardiologist we give a local injection in the hand or in the groin and through that we access the coronary arteries we pass a wire down the coronary arteries across the blockages and we take a stent which is mounted on a balloon across these blockages as you can see here and the balloon is inflated and once it is inflated the stent is deployed and this removes all the blockages to the periphery restoring the lumen you can see here the lumen has been restored and there's a constant flow this stent becomes a part of the coronary artery in due course of time the endothelial layer grows over it it becomes a part of the wall of the coronary arteries but the luminal flow becomes uniform and the blockage is removed so this is a simple way of taking away the blockages and symptoms associated with that and getting people back to healthy life this can prevent heart attacks this has also been shown to improve longevity or in long term when you take tight blockages and of course uh, people can live a much more productive life when they have symptoms from these blockages. There are a lot of advancements in these techniques. Initially, we started with only plain balloon angioplasty, but the chances of blockage coming back in plain and balloon angioplasty is much higher to the extent of 30 to 40 percent within the next six to eight months. However, then came along bare metal stents, which could reduce this chance to 15 to 20 percent once deployed. But we have been using for two decades now a drug eluting stents which elute medicines to prevent blockage coming back and the chances of blockage coming back has come down to 5 to 7 percent only which means 95 to 97 percent people will be well after one year and only small chance of blockage coming back thereafter. This is a very simple way. It is not painful. It requires only one or two days of hospital stay and people are home back to active life within two to three days. So there is further advancement now that we have some drug eluting balloons where we don't leave a stent behind. In some blockages we treat that with drug eluting balloons. We have cutting balloons which we can cut the hard blockages. We can do a rotablation to remove the calcified blockages which can drill away through the tight calcium blockages and dissipate it away. We have IVL intravascular lithotripsy to crack open the tight calcified blockages. So there are a lot of advancements in removing all sort of blockages. Even the chronic total occlusion, CTOs as we call them, can be opened up in majority of cases successfully. Now we also have drug eluting stents were there long time. It's a bioabsorbable stents as we call them. They are available which will stay there for anything from two to four years and dissolve away leaving the clean artery behind with no stent at all. So these are available and we have been using them for quite a few years now. So 
It's good time in cardiology because there are simple ways to treat. Not everybody needs a bypass. But yes, there are certain circumstances when stenting alone may not be the right answer for the person and they may require bypass. Usually when you have multiple blockages involving multiple vessels and particularly in diabetics, you may have to think about alternate treatment. But for vast majority of patients, two, three blockages can be easily removed by doing PDCA stenting and get them back to healthy life. Thank you very much.